guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is bianca definitely hit that subscribe button and stick around and join the fam and if you're always here what's up welcome back you guys so it is currently wednesday i don't know if you saw the vlog yesterday but i finally got all of my weird symptoms figured out i've taken my medicine i literally already feel so much better it's insane so yeah that's just a little life update but we are about to head to the gym to go and do back and then also today's an orange theory day for me so going there at eight and then we got a big work day we got some content we have to shoot today um some sponsored some not sponsored and yeah we're planning on um, trying to like get done with work as much as we can so we can have like a relaxing night make dinner watch a movie and then go to bed So yeah, busy busy day ahead of us. Also, I'm finally wearing this black set whenever I have my period My boobs like get huge. So now I feel like my boobs finally like actually fit in these right? <laughs> so I'm like really happy, but yeah here I'll show you her black set to the gym and yeah I'm pretty excited about it. I love wearing these. These, seriously, her sets are officially like my new favorite thing to wear to Orange Theory because they don't move and it's like super high intensity, you know? So I really like wearing them there. But yeah, I'm black for the win. And I'm gonna make my pre-workout and stuff while I wait for Colin to finish getting ready. Today isn't a question again. It's more of like a subconscious advice. thing, advice. Yeah, because yeah. I was listening to a podcast which like led to the conversation. I was listening to, um, what was I listening to? My phone literally is not working, guys. It's like messed up. It's called Gold Digger. I was just talking to Bianca and we were discussing how the older you get, the more aware you become of just like how the world is and how people work. And I was just talking about how, you know, like one of the things that I feel people thrive on is just being able to judge others mm -hmm. and being able to like put others down. But mm -hmm. everyone needs to understand that everyone is so different and everyone has completely different views on what they love and like what they enjoy doing and mm -hmm. who they want to be around and the things they want to spend their free time doing, getting tattoos, like everyone has different preferences and like things they want to do and like people love to judge you for those preferences and those because things you it's love something they wouldn't do and then people you know? feel the need that they have to like fit in and then they end up being fake and then not being them tr like their true self so it's like i think one thing that me and bianca were talking about is like i want us to have a goal where like we try so hard to just be way more accepting of people because there's so many people that just get judged all the time. We get judged all the time, like mm -hmm. just so much. And it's just like a super negative thing that goes on in our world that we need to like initiate a change about and like try to be better. So it's kind of like a challenge, but for the rest of this year and kind of into 2020, we really want to focus on um, being really accepting and just loving people for who they are. And if they like to do something that's not something you would do, that's fine because everyone's on a completely different path. And yeah, we just have like a long conversation about it. And even like growing up too, like if you don't want to go to college, but your parents went to college, they like have this whole vision and like they raised you and they're like, my kid's going to go to college. And they're like, you know what I mean? It's just like, never be afraid to do what makes you happy and to do what you want to do because at the end of the day, you're the only person that truly matters for yourself and you can determine your own happiness, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's just our little morning advice. Exactly. Oops. Okay, we're going to go to the gym. It to the gym. Today means Gals on the Go podcast on the way to the gym. Colin's looking at me vlogging and I don't know why I feel a little weird. Okay, let's go. So I listen to Gals on the Go on the way to the gym. Probably just going to keep listening to it during our lift. But we're about to go lift back. And I'm making it a point to start the Fit Instagram again today. Just finished a power day at Orange Theory. It was really good, but... um. I definitely think I need to get new running shoes. If you guys didn't know, you should really get um, new running shoes. Okay, this is just what I've heard. <laughs> so, I mean, I've been abiding by this forever, except for like this instance. But you're supposed to get new running shoes like every six months, I think. Um, there's probably someone out there who is more um, professional. So if someone wants to fact check for me and tell me what the 
correct term or whatever the correct time is, you can let me know. But I've heard six months. And so I've had the issues for, I'm going on eight, so I haven't switched them out. And I don't know, like, like just kind of like my shins start to hurt and my knees kind of start to hurt, just like as your shoes get a little more worn down and things like that. I'm really thinking I need to go home and buy new running shoes because I there's just like the tread on the bottom of these is like completely worn down and also I've just been wearing them for forever. But I only, really like running an adidas ultra boost i know there's like mixed feelings on that but if you don't like tie them super duper tight to where like your foot doesn't fall asleep because like that happens to me sometimes and you just kind of like like they're tight on your foot they're not going to fall off but they're not like super tight then i think that they're great and you do kind of have to just take a minute to break them in a little but yeah i run an adidas ultra boost the thing that sucks about them is that they're literally so expensive like i'm pretty sure they're 180 dollars like if they're not on sale which is bizarre to me but I guess if you really only buy them twice a year it's completely worth it I don't even know what my performance summary is 17 spot points 532 calories oh my dad's calling me oh my god hello I just got home we are starting off the morning now that I have body bloom again I am gonna start off by drinking that first before I drink my protein so I'm gonna like drink my body bloom let that digest for a second someone commented and said like the 30 minute rule isn't a thing but I still like 30 minutes like, oh I still have to do it because um, like I, I understand that that might not be a thing but then you'll have a monster on your hands and I don't think you want that from me so I just got ready I had some breakfast I've been trying to put on muscle lately I'm just trying to do like a lean like lean muscle but also like cut but put on muscle type deal which is just basically me upping my protein it's like nothing important so yeah um i've had like a very high protein lunch i had a um, piece of dave's killer bread with butter on it and then i had a ground turkey a chicken sausage little link and two eggs so that's my like pre-content shoot snack but here's my here's my current situation i need to figure that out so i know outfits and then i also have to shoot something for joy lab which is like the bomb i love joy lab you guys know that's target's workout brand and i seriously love it so i have these already in green they just sent me these again in this color um jumper sweatshirt thing to go with it so i'm gonna go shoot in that and then i also have like some other outfits that i want to do too also, quick, this little jumper sweatshirt thing is from Aloe Yoga, and I actually got this in LA, but it's really, really soft. And then these sweat short pants, shorts, sweat pants shorts, I don't even know, so cozy from H&M. I have these in like so many different colors. They're like boater shorts, but they're the bomb. You need them. We're out here doing this whole content thing. Oh, yeah. I'm actually kind of starting to get hot, but I think it's because I'm wearing a sweater. But we're almost done. I just have like one more outfit to shoot. I think I'm just going to do three today, so. Last outfit of this outing, and I'm getting ice cream for the picture, and Colin's going to eat it. <laughs> That's a little life hack if you ever need three pictures. <laughs> Buy your boyfriend ice cream as a thank you for taking your pictures, and then let him eat it after you pose with it. <laughs> that is a wrap. Now we're headed back home to edit and keep working and make dinner eventually and all those good things i also wanted to say that when we are were on the way here we had some parcels pending so i wanted to show you guys because you know she restocked her whitney simmons is who i'm talking about restocked her sweatshirts and stuff so i ended up getting a sweatshirt and I'm telling Colin how to get home. <laughs> and I literally couldn't wait because I've been waiting to do the shoot and then I wanted to open it really bad, so now I'm gonna do it. But, <sighs> here we go. Ooh. Oh, this is cute. It looks dope. It's a sweatshirt, it's a crop sweatshirt. I like that. And it cinches in. I'll try it on as soon as I get home. And I love how the little ties are white. I'm still shook that she commented on my video. But anyways, I think I'm gonna love the hood because I love big and oversized hoods. And then I also like the little cinchy in part and how if you don't even want to cinch it in, then the um, hand, you know, 
the arms just taper yeah, out okay, like okay. that. <laughs> I You're just like them, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I definitely am super excited to try that on. We also got an isogenics package, which is good because now we're totally restocked on like all of our protein and stuff because we were running real low. Put on the sweatshirt for you guys. <laughs> it's actually a few days later, but no one needs to know that. Okay, so here it is like undone. I got a size medium, by the way. Yes. I love it. It's so cute. I love this color too. Go Whitney. Go girl. And then here, hair to the back so you can see like this little half boat neckline type deal. It's like almost a boat neckline but not quite boat neckline. And then I'll cinch it up. I'll just cinch it up like right here. I hope that doesn't make that fall. Okay. Okay, here's it all cinched up. Okay, this cinched up is actually really cute. To be honest, I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I really wanted to like try it out anyway. But here's what it looks like cinched. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Um, side note, since I am in the future, I was online today and noticed that Gymshark completely took off her entire collection. So there's that. But yeah, this is very cute. Here's the back. Here's the front. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and skip over to a Q&A because I do that next in this video for you guys because today I stopped filming just because, or the day you're watching this, I stopped filming because there's a lot going on and a lot to do and then I'm making up for it now. So I decided to come into my room. We're gonna do a little Q&A just because um, I stopped filming the day that I filmed this vlog and so I put on my Instagram story to ask for questions and I'm just going to answer them for you guys because I need to finish the vlog. Um, somebody asked what my day looks like with intermittent fasting. So I usually break my fast whenever I get back from the gym. I'm very lax with intermittent fasting now. I've been doing it for about like a year and a half now. And um, I usually just try to eat within the eight hour window and then fast for 16. So I usually eat from 11 to seven. But lately, since we've been working out so much earlier, I've kind of been like, eating for a couple hours longer, but I usually just try and stop eating by eight o'clock at night. Somebody asked what the best part about being self-employed is, and I would definitely say it's getting to like create your own hours, and you definitely get to have time for the things that you value. For instance, like I value going to the gym, I value spending time with Colin, I value spending time with my family, um, friends, things like that. So I definitely get more time like that and I also value traveling and that allows travel so much more. So those are my favorite parts. Somebody asked how do I deal with bloating on my period and I honestly just wear clothes that I like bigger clothes like sweatshirt, um, a tank top that like is loose, things like that. So I'm not wearing tight clothes and I don't feel self-conscious. Someone said, will you and Colin get a dog? So eventually we do want a golden retriever, but not for a couple years, just because having a, like a dog in an apartment isn't the most ideal situation, so. Um, somebody asked if I ever miss college, and I do not miss college, but I definitely miss my friends. So not college, but I miss Haven and Lauren and Sarah Ellen so much. Someone asked what YouTubers I watch, so I'm gonna just go into my um, subscription box, but I watch. Um, Alex Garza, I watch Aspen Ovard, I watch, um, Brooke Michio, I watch Caitlin B, I watch Stephanie Buttermore, um, I watch Ellie and Jared, I watch Christy Vetter, I watch David Dobrik, I watch Abby Aslin, I watch Jessica Howell, um, Hannah Oberg, Natalie Barbu, Danielle Carolyn, Taylor King, Nikki Blackadder, um, trying to Margot Lee, um, and Melena Ciciotti and Sierra Furtado are pretty much my like. Oh, and um, Frankie. Um, her no last name is Bowerman now, but she used to be Francesca Garza. Oops, and I watch Kristen Johns a lot. And I'm trying to think of who else. So it's pretty much like oh Gretchen Garrity. Um, and I also watch Maggie a lot too. But yeah, that's pretty much Maggie McDonald, by the way. That's pretty much like the roundup of everybody I watch. Oh, Sarah's Day, obviously. I also like Alex Santomo. Phone's being so weird, it keeps freezing. Oh, Bria Jones, obviously. My ever since I upgraded my phone, it keeps freezing, and I do not understand why it does that. Natasha Oshian. Test Christine. Okay. 
I think that's like good. Somebody asked how I learned how to cook healthy. So my main thing that I always like to do is have a protein, a carb, and a veggie on my plate. And then I just looked up complex carbs and um, veggies that are easy to digest. And then for protein, I know I like steak, chicken, fish, salmon, all that stuff. So it's kind of just like combining different meals off of that and then like doing like a Mexican night for like fajitas or doing um, healthy pasta for like Italian, things like that. Um, Someone asked when I'm releasing my own presets because they love my Instagram feed right now. And as of right now, I hate to say this, but I don't have any plans of like releasing my own presets, at least not this year. That might be like a next year project. But I'm just working on perfecting those first because I don't want to like release something that isn't a one you know what I mean for presets so yeah I'm just kind of like perfecting that area of the Instagram but I do really really agree that I like my Instagram feed right now too um someone said when are you coming out with merch or an online store no you just might have to keep watching so that's all I can say about that someone asked if I'm a Christian and that is actually something that I've never talked about on my channel before is religion or anything just because I really don't like to um, so I'm just going to give you like a yes or no answer to that and then we're just going to keep it at that just because I don't really want, that's just like not the talk of my channel at the moment and I don't really want to like devise a conversation about this just because I like to keep things not about this, but yes, I am a Christian. Do I go to church all the time? No. <laughs> okay, so a bunch of people have been asking if I'm teaming up with Gymshark anytime soon, and the answer to that is not that I'm aware of. Um, I would love to do that, and that's an absolute dream and goal of mine, is to be a part of that company and be able to meet and support and influence so many of you guys through that company, but that is not what's currently happening. Um, somebody asked what I got a degree in, and I'm a communication public relations major graduate favorite places to shop for home decor are definitely target and home goods a lot of people are asking about me doing a north carolina meetup and i have considered doing another one recently maybe next year for sure i'll do one next year just not this year and then somebody else asked why i always um wear my hair curly and not straight and honestly i just don't think that my hair looks very good straight it looks a lot better curly in my opinion or i feel more confident when it's curly so um another person asked if i can do vlogmas and i am doing vlogmas this year tips for being in a long distance relationship i'm actually planning on starting a relationship series with colin where we talk about different topics and maybe film one every other week so if you want to go ahead and start leaving comments for topics down below topic comments leave them below but my biggest advice is to make the other person feel your presence even when you're not there let's do is for charlotte i would definitely hang out in the south end um noda area or like midtown because those are really fun and just look up restaurants in south end or um, noda because they're all really good uh tips for growing your instagram account i would honestly just say be genuine be consistent be yourself um because you don't want to be somebody else who you're not because then it's inauthentic and that's not cool. Uh, how did Colin and I meet? We met in elementary school. We lived in the same neighborhood growing up. We went to elementary school, middle, and high school together. We were friends, but we didn't actually like hang out and we didn't start dating until college. My tattoos. So this one says, love you to the moon. This is an ampersand sign. I have a 13 right here and on my ribs it says, create your own reality in Italian. Somebody asked what my fave thing about my zodiac sign is and i think it's just how independent and hardworking aries are um i really really like that another person asked if i'm considering coaching at orange theory again and i'm not i liked being a member a lot better i also like to be able to get in and get out and you spend a lot of time there and i need to put a lot more time into youtube and things like that and i want to give my 100 percent efforts to what i love and that is youtube and um content creating and stuff like that so I just couldn't dedicate that much time to YouTube which is why I don't think I'm gonna end up doing that again what country would you and Colin travel to I really want to go to Italy I really want to go to the south of France and I really want to go to Greece my favorite cheat meal is definitely Mexican that I prefer and choice that Colin does I don't really like vacuuming so Colin always vacuums we each do our own laundry and I love like wiping things down and Colin really doesn't so. And Colin does the floors more than I do. Somebody asked what inspired me to work out and be healthy. And I started following Whitney Simmons way before she had 
more than 15,000 subscribers on YouTube and it was definitely her. Somebody asked if my Orange Theory lets us wear sports bras as tops and yes they do and I'm pretty sure that's an Orange Theory rule that you're allowed to do that so I would check into that if yours doesn't. Um, who's older, me or Colin? Colin's older by exactly four months. What's something you like a lot or collect? So I like food a lot and um, I'm definitely a foodie and it's like a side hobby to find new restaurants in Charlotte and go to them and like try them out. Um, someone said, does Colin work? And yes, he has his own business actually in Charlotte and he is a film director for um, independent films, music videos, and event videos. When are you and Haven going to reunite? She's coming to visit in a couple months. How to overcome gym anxiety? Just honestly go in there with like tunnel vision and just worry about yourself. Don't look at anybody else. No one else is looking at you. And just go in there and get it done, girl. My favorite flavor of the Ulani New Energy Drink is Mimosa or Arctic White. And my Celsius flavors that I recommend are orange. I also really like grape. I have to resituate because my legs are like falling asleep. Those are all of the questions that I'm going to answer. Colin and I are about to go on a date, but you guys are going to see that in the next vlog. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to start commenting topics for a relationship series because we are definitely going to start filming that. And I will see you guys in my next video.